want you bad as ever Don't let me just let up I wanna give you better Baby Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this updated foundation routine from me. So first things first, you want to exfoliate your skin. I love using this Spin for Perfect Skin brush. And I actually have a discount code for this down below in the description box for 70% off. So check that out. And basically this just makes your skin uber smooth. So I use the PMD as well for smoothness for my skin. I'll probably do a separate video on just the PMD alone. It's amazing. So, you do want to moisturize your skin. I use the Nivea Soft um, Moisturizing Cream today. And this just makes it so that your foundation goes on smoother. And it just um, moisturizes your skin so your skin is not dry. So, as you can see, I have some, like, extreme dark spots. I had a horrible breakout to using Zote soap, 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 soap to clean my brushes. And I do have on a top, FYI. So, yeah. We're going to start off with the Nivea Men Post Shaving Balm, and I'm using this as a primer. This is also going to help our makeup stay on all day, and it makes your makeup glide on so smooth. It's amazing, and this is a drugstore product that I absolutely love. I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finishing Primer, and this um, is actually the LA Girl Pro Prep is a good dupe for that. Just use any silicone primer. It will help. Um, your pores to seem smaller so I put it all around my nose and like above my lip my chin and my forehead that's where my pores are very large and I just rub that in and it just helps my pores look smaller so now I'm gonna go in with the Mac Pro Longwear Concealer in NW45 absolutely love this concealer sorry my phone just went off I love this concealer because it has the perfect pigment of orange and it's so full coverage. And I only need about, well now I need like one and a half pumps to cover the scars that I have. So I'm just going to use like a little, it's not a pencil brush, but it's a really sharp brush um, with a pointed angle to cover my acne scars. And I do put the product on my hand first, basically any liquids I put on my hand first to warm up the product. And then apply it directly to my face. This just makes it so that the product goes on smoother and all that stuff so yeah I was really hesitant about doing this video at first because I was kind of embarrassed like my acne scars were really bad I had really bad like a really bad reaction to the Zote so I had to go to the dermatologist and get extractions and everything so that's why my scarring so bad right now anyways I'm gonna take that Pro Longwear concealer and kind of go underneath my eyes a little bit in the corners of my eyes it's a little bit dark there too and I'm just going to apply that concealer there anywhere that it's uneven and everything you want to apply that concealer just a little bit and this just also helps my foundation to look better as well so I'm gonna use a morphe 439 brush and this is like a buffing brush it's really amazing and I'm gonna go in with my Lancome tint idol ultra I don't know how to say it 24 hour makeup love this foundation love this foundation and I'm going to apply it to my hand first and I'm going to start in the inner portion of my face and blend outwards. So as you can see my acne scars are covered. I'm just going over it with that buffing brush and just tapping the product into my skin. So I'm kind of forcing it into my pores instead of swiping it across the skin. I'm just literally tapping it in. And as you can see, oh my god, this foundation it's, it's more of a like set any dewy finish than a matte finish. Definitely not a matte foundation. Um, but I really don't like matte foundation. So this foundation is awesome for me. It lasts me all day. It's just amazing. And it matches me perfectly. So absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Just going to buff it into the skin and along my jawline and my neck um, by my ears and all that stuff. Just patting the product in. Um, at first I was using a beauty blender, but I found out that it shears out your foundation. So if you do need full coverage, I would use a brush. A flathead brush or a buffer brush like the one I'm using um, would work perfectly fine. And this little thing that I'm doing right now, it just makes it so that the product gets into the fine lines and wrinkles in your face. So like sticking your tongue out and into your lip will make your foundation kind of go on smoother around your mouth. Just a little tip. So now I'm going to go in with my Beauty Blender. This is a dupe for the Beauty Blender. The orange one is the Real Techniques one. And I'm going to go in with my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in Amade and the LA Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. So first, this is the NARS Concealer. 
and I'm going to use the applicator to apply it right underneath my eyes and I'm just going to kind of go right in that shape um, that I'm doing right now. And then I'm going to take that warm honey, that LA Pro uh, warm honey on the back of my hand. I'm going to warm that up on the back of my hand first and then I'm going to take my beauty blender and dip that into the warm honey as you can see right now and then I'm going to go in and blend out my concealer. So the reason why I do this is because it comes out the perfect color. I absolutely love the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. It absolutely makes your face look radiant. Um, absolutely love it. I've been wanting to buy it for a long time. I actually splurged like during Christmas time. <laughs> so this is why I have kind of expensive makeup now. So yeah. Um, but it's absolutely worth it. I absolutely love the products that I got. So let me just stop rambling. Um, I pat the beauty blender right underneath my eyes and I kind of bring it into my nose by my nostril and bring it up towards the tear duct of my eyeball so that it kind of contours my nose at the same time. So I'm doing the same thing to the other eye. I'm just patting the concealer in and I feel like Warm Honey in this Amade color makes the perfect highlighting shade for me. My last foundation routine I liked it but the colors were kind of off to me so I was like okay we need to figure out a new foundation routine and I absolutely love this one. I've tried it out for a long time before <laughs> this tutorial has gone up and I absolutely love the way it looks on camera and off. So um, yeah absolutely love it. So just going to pat the concealer out just dabbing it underneath my eyes and stuff like that. So I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush and this Laura Mercier translucent powder. I love this powder guys. I told you I splurged. Really really fine milled translucent powder and I'm going to take the Banana Luxury powder. I can't give it up. Absolutely love it. I mix the two together and it just makes a beautiful like setting powder and I'm just going to pat that underneath my eyes. I'm not going to bake at all. Um, recently I have not really been baking. So I'm um, just going to pat this um, translucent powder and the banana powder together on my eyelids and underneath my eyes to set the concealer. I don't know, it just comes out better to me. The banana powder is a little bit too yellow for me, um, but when you mix the Laura Mercier powder with it, it just comes out the perfect color. I absolutely love it. So now I'm going to use the two concealers again and I'm going to conceal, um, well, highlight my, the bridge of my nose, um, the, my cupid's bow, I'm going to go a little bit outwards towards like my full top lip with my cupid's bow though today, and then I'm going to do my chin. So basically just applying the product with the applicator, the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, and then I'm going to take that warm honey again, apply it to my hand, and then put the beauty blender, um, on my hand like tap it into the product like I'm doing now and then blend out the concealers and basically just tapping it into the skin like I did underneath my eyes I didn't really want to speed this tutorial up it might be a very long tutorial but I wanted to show you guys every step that I did so I'm just gonna blend that out mainly the the main part of highlighting is like the middle part of your face has to be like highlighted so um, I started blending my top lip highlight out a little bit wider than just my cupid's bow it just looks better to me so just blending out my chin highlight like that now I'm going to use this little triangular wedgie thing and I'm going to kind of set well set my um my bridge of my nose, um, my cupid's bow, and my chin with the banana powder and the Laura Mercier powder. I am going to kind of bake this a little bit because, I don't know, I, this is just how it works for me. <laughs> so I'm just going to set everything like that. As you can see, I did not highlight my forehead. Uh, recently, I haven't been doing that either. Only thing I've been doing is just setting my forehead with some Laura Mercier powder and um, the banana powder. So as you can see... I just kind of went over those areas. So I did put Laura Mercier powder and the banana powder on my forehead like I'm doing right now. So now I'm going to take this MAC 135 brush. This Real Techniques brush is an awesome dupe for the MAC 135 brush. Um, and I'm going to take this CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronze Bronzer and I'm going to bronze up my face. I'm literally going to put this brush right in the hollows of my cheek. This brush makes contouring so easy. It makes bronzing so easy like 
I just absolutely love this brush. Absolutely love it. Like, I want to get another one. Um, but, oh my god, just bronzing the face, it makes it so easy. So I'm just going to put that in the sockets of my um, face. And I'm going to go along my forehead to kind of just give my face some more color. Um, I use the CoverGirl Ebony Bronze because it has a little bit of a red undertone to it. And um, I just love the way it shows up on chocolate skin tones. I don't know. It's just very, very nice. Because it's really hard to find bronzers for darker skin tones. But this one is amazing. They CoverGirl did a really good job with that. So I'm just going to bronze up the sides of my nose too with that same brush. And I'm just going to really randomly, sloppily go everywhere and bronze up my face. Um, if you don't know how to bronze, just kind of make an E shape on your face. So I'm going to show you in a second. Um, just kind of make an E shape, like a 3 or an E, like that. And then that will show you exactly where to bronze. So now I'm going to take my MSF in dark and I'm going to go over my highlight and brush away that banana and the Laura Mercier powder. And it'll just make it look a little bit more natural and not so um, powdery. So now I'm going to go in with my MAC MSF in deep dark and I'm just going to bronze a little bit more. This is just going to add a little bit more definition to my face and all that good stuff because I'm not going to contour today. This is my contour basically. And I'm just going to go along my forehead and everything like that and my jawline as well. And that's my contour today. So I'm going to contour my nose a little bit. I'm going to use the Deep Dark MSF by MAC. And I'm going to use a pencil brush and just contour my nose. Um, I don't really need to, but I don't know. It just adds more definition to me. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend it out with a blending brush. This is the MAC 217 brush. And now I'm going to go in with the Morphe 509 brush in Bay my base. <laughs> this is a MAC O Darling highlighter and MAC Gold Deposit highlighter. I'm just going to highlight my face before I put on my blush and I'm going to highlight the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin, a little bit on my forehead. Um, I'm going to do the bridge of my nose too just to, I don't know, I'm just being extra today obviously. <laughs> so I'm going to go back in with my MAC 135 brush and this T-Rose blush by Milani and I'm going to put this blush on the apples of my cheeks and bring it up into my bronzer. This just makes it so that you don't look like a clown <laughs> and I don't know it just looks more natural into the skin so you're just blending it out. Now I'm going to go in with my MAC Fix Plus Spray the face. I'm not going to set my face with powder today. I'm just going to use my Fix Plus. And that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to stay confident even without makeup on.